Hello, and welcome to the first ever episode of Movie Merch, the show where I take a look at the various tie-ins and merchandise associated with the movie. Merchandising? What's that? Merchandising? Come, I'll show you. This may seem like a silly thing to care about, but as a kid, the way in which a movie was advertised had a great impact on my perception of it. And whether that be for better or for worse, I still have some fond memories more directly related to a movie's merchandise than the movie itself. Merchandising! Merchandising! Where the real money from the movie is made. One such example of this is with the 2003 Ang Lee Hulk movie. A movie that, while not the best, I remember obsessing over at the age of five. With that said, I wanted to begin by looking at the many toys to come out of this movie. This was back in a time when Toy Biz still had the license to Marvel Toys, before those rights eventually went to Hasbro in 2007. Hasbro has since tried to replicate the success of Toy Biz line of Marvel Toys, and while they've certainly improved with time, let's face it, they'll never be what Toy Biz was. Toy Biz made a lot of incredible toys for the 2003 Hulk movie, and thanks to Figure Realm, I managed to find a comprehensive list of nearly every action figure they made for it. These action figures consisted of 13-inch Hulk, 13-inch Raging Hulk, Battle Action Hulk, Stretch and Roar Hulk, Hulk in Electronic Rage Cage, Punching Hulk, Smash and Crush Hulk, Superposable Leaping Hulk, there's a story to this one, I'll get to it in a bit. Rage and Roar Hulk, Twist and Slam Hulk, Bruce Banner Transforming Chamber, David Banner, Rapid Punch Hulk, Throwing Hulk, Rampaging Hulk, Smash and Scream Hulk, Super Poseable Hulk, Hulk Dog, Hulk on Street Rubble, Hulk with Tank, and of course, Hulk with Motorcycle. Now back to the Super Poseable Leaping Hulk, this was actually the only one I owned as a kid and it came attached to a string with what appeared to be a damaged jet turbine acting as a sort of handle. The purpose of the toy was to bounce the Hulk up and down, sort of like a yo-yo to replicate his super jumping abilities. Me being a stupid kid didn't care much for this aspect so I remember just cutting the string off so I could play with the action figure. Not that it really matters, because I ended up losing the toy and haven't seen it since. I still wake up in the dead of night wondering where my super poseable Leaping Hulk disappeared to. But I guess that will have to remain another one of life's many mysteries. But probably the most notable toy created for this movie wasn't any of the action figures, but rather a more interactive one. I'm of course talking about none other than the infamous Hulk hands. The power of the Hulk is in your hands! I've got the power of the Hulk in my hands, and I like it! Whoever at Toy Biz had the idea for Hulk hands deserved a promotion. There's just something about these massive foam hands that gives its wearer the urge to smash everything in sight. It really does make you feel like the Hulk, and I'm glad it caught on to the point where they're still being sold to this day. Besides the many toys from Toy Biz, the movie also had a few toys made for kids meals at Burger King. To my knowledge, there was six of these toys made, and the meal even came in an exclusive box. Unfortunately, I was super unsuccessful in finding any of the Burger King ads from this time involving these toys. I did, however, manage to find an ad from Mexico for a Hulk burger, which was basically just a burger with guacamole. I'm not that big on Burger King, but what the heck, I'd try it. I mean, it even comes with a Hulk cup. Besides fast food, there was multiple other food and beverage tie-ins for this movie. One of which was the Sunny D Big Hulkin Giveaway, a contest in which thousands of contestants could win DVDs, video games, or other prizes. But the grand prize was a trip to New York to visit Marvel Comic Headquarters and the chance to appear in a Hulk comic. I have no idea who won the grand prize, but I assume someone did. Kinda sucks that some kid got to be immortalized in a comic book, and yet no one remembers him. I'd rather have the video game. Unleash the power of the sun, Sunny D. During this time, Hulk also made an appearance in a Mountain Dew commercial. I break stuff, but it takes a lot for me to lose control. Thank you, Bruce. Edward? Uh, oh. 
far as I can tell, there was no prize of any kind, just some collector's cans with pictures of the Hulk on them. In the UK, there was an ad for a tie-in with Nestle cereals. Each cereal included one of five Hulk toys made of this almost translucent plastic I kind of dig. Nestle even changed up their Golden Grams to feature pictures of the Hulk on them, which is a fun idea. Can you handle the power of the Hulk? There's five to collect, one free in each pack of Shreddy's Nesquik and Golden Nuggets. There was a ton of other Hulk-related merchandise around this time that was pretty much the type of merchandise you got with any superhero movie. There was trading cards, puzzles, toy cars, whatever this thing is. But more remarkably, there was also a board game titled Hulk Bus Loose. This game seems to be a pretty basic make it to the finish line kind of game with each player in the role of Bruce Banner. Your goal is to at some point turn into the Hulk and use your abilities to race to the end at top speed. The game's pieces even featured an image of Eric Bana as Bruce Banner. I'm sure that won't be outdated anytime soon. Besides a board game, there was also of course a video game tie-in, two to be exact. Ah yes, good old movie license video games. It's the gift that every parent who knew next to nothing about video games kept on giving. They've of course depleted in numbers now that mobile apps are a thing, but there was a time where they made video games for nearly every big blockbuster movie. Brought to us by Radical Entertainment and those guys who killed Crash Bandicoot, the game simply titled Hulk was released on PS2, Xbox, GameCube, and PC. The game actually acted as a sequel to the movie, which was probably a good idea because it gave them the opportunity to use comic villains not featured in the film. Hulk was an action game that allowed its players to go insane with power as they rampaged through enemies, causing as much collateral damage as possible. The game ended up receiving mixed reviews, with quite a few of those citing more towards the positives than the negatives. Hulk, the game, rated T for T. And then there was The Incredible Hulk on Game Boy Advance. Being a Game Boy game, the game publishers still wanted to bank off the Hulk's upcoming movie, but would have to go about it in a different fashion. I don't know what this game's reception is, but for what it is, I admire the game's style. And that concludes my ramblings on the 2003 Hulk movie and its bounteous amounts of merchandise. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see me talk about more forgotten movie merchandise in the future, then feel free to let me know. Until then, I thank you for watching, and Hulk smash!